Welcome to my couch that I'm sitting on upside down. This is a response to Do It With Dan. The five worst driving habits I have. I'm recording this with my phone, number five. Uh, don't try to impress me. This is not so much a driving habit as it's something I do when someone else wants me to take wants to take me for a drive. Really started as a as something that happened as a result of RCR and maybe other people who you know have car channels get this. When other people want to take you for a ride, they want to show off and drive faster than they normally would to make an attempt to impress me. So what I say to them, like if they're going to take me for a ride in their Trans Am, I have to say, okay, don't try to impress me. What will impress me is if you drive normally, like if they're if we're going to Taco Bell or something. And that sounds kind of dickish, but at the same time, I don't want to go out like Paul Walker. Number four, this is this is a passive aggressive thing I do when people try to pass me. Like I'm in the slow lane because I belong there because I drive a Honda Fit, and someone passes me. I'm going say 65. Say I'm going to speed limit. They pass me. I'll speed up as they pass me. Not a whole lot, just an extra five miles an hour. Like, okay, you want to go fast? I'm going to make you go a little bit faster. Usually right at the moment they're right next to me. Eh, give it a little bit more throttle. Make them work for it. Number three. Ooh, the passive aggressive pullover. This is happens when someone's tailgating me on a, or kind of close on a two lane road, but there's enough shoulder. I usually save this one for guys in Dodge Cummins diesel trucks, you know, asphalt queens, who are really into throwing the size of their vehicle around. I'm like, okay, I'll give you exactly what you want. Oh, look at me. I'm so my little Honda Fit. You win, you big bully. And I'm, I want them to feel bad, just a little bit. On go the four ways, over in the other lane. And I make sure I don't pull right out behind them. I'll let them go a little way just to recognize, okay, you, you did, you went out with, this is what you want, right? This is, you want people to be afraid of you? Okay, I'll play your game. Number two, this is a thing I do when I'm a passenger. I have a hard time keeping my hands off of your HVAC controls. If it's too hot, I turn it down. I leak, I'm reaching right across that gear lever and I'm turning the fan down if it's, too hot or turning it toward the the uh the blue if it's too cold or too hot i touch your heater number one and the worst thing i do my worst driving habit is shifting into reverse at a stoplight if the person behind me is texting like i i'm watching that rear view mirror and you always check it. And if I'm at a stoplight and the person behind me, I immediately see their eyes go down onto the phone. In goes the gear shifter into reverse. And those backup lights come on. And I want to see if they see. Usually they don't. One time it was really bad. I waited. That light turned green. And I was one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. And then I, and then that was, mm, that was pretty bad. Like I waited up painstaking three seconds because I was front on line and that light turned green. They didn't even look up. They're waiting out of their peripheral to see something happen. So, and I, and I got so upset at them, like fucking text her. And, uh, so bang into first gear and then dump the clutch and, you know, make the tires squeal just to see their eyes dart up and get wide. Uh Oh, what's going on? Cause they hear the screeching sound. That was bad. I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, thank you.